guys it's mama dad head and i want to do a couple pulls for you guys today hopefully be able to add another character to my roster and show you an updated version of what it looks like right now i'm gonna go and pull these elite weapons give me a four star come on sentry's rifle all right elite character Come on, uh, Martinez. All right, and I have two helmet token poles. So, come on, fingers crossed. Please, 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 give me that Javier, please. Let's see, I'm gonna pull it on that Michonne. Oh, come on, don't, don't do this to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fucking map. Two maps? Are you serious? <sighs> well, guys, so far I've pulled four star trainer, three star trainer, the damn shotgun, two star shotgun, and these two maps. <sighs> so I'm not getting any luck from this helmet token pull. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you my roster. So, as of now, the team that I'm using on defense is this. Three Andreas, Jesus, and Lee. Now, um, Jesus has the impair weapon on him. And I get decent amount of defense. I want to say, uh, well, against smaller factions, I normally defend... 99% of the time uh, but now that I'm in a top faction it's kind of split half and half between what I defend so if you guys have an idea for a better one and I have some new tunes so if you guys have any ideas for a better one please tell me a team um, anyway this is what my roster is looking like And level up is going on, so I am leveling up my Wilkins and my Jose. I was considering taking out an Andrea and putting Jose in there. Maybe putting the impair weapon on him. But I'm not sure. If you guys think that would be a good idea, please tell me. He has, um, he's fast. So I'll put a shotgun on him, military shotgun. And if I put him behind an Andrea, he'll go off just as fast. Um, he deals 375% damage and stun for one turn to up to three enemies. And he has cutthroat. Whenever this character attacks a fighter that's under the effect of a debilitating status, they will deal 30% extra damage. So that's what he does, and I think his stun would be very, very useful to me. And Wilkins... He's still a little bit slower. I haven't completely leveled up his Adrenaline Rush yet. And he does 550% damage to an enemy. And all enemies get 60% defense for two turns. And for those that don't know. Some of these skills might be a little um, obvious. Because they're you know big things that you can easily get. Um, but there are a couple that people may not know. Uh, this Herschel... He does uh, minus 20 AP to one, enemy, to one enemy and all enemies adjacent to it. Up to three teammates get 60% attack for three turns. And he does neutralize. And then the other one is Heath. And he gives everyone 85% attack and defense for four turns. And he has command. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not sure what to put on my team. I have some decent four stars as well. And let me see. I have I also have these five stars that I don't currently have on any team. Now I have some duplicates. Like I have two Heaths. I have two Ricks. Um, actually I have enough to upgrade her. But I still don't want to use her because she's not. I mean two tiers just isn't good enough. 
that's really it as far as tunes go because I don't really have any bot tunes, just the ones that I've gotten from five star tokens and events. I do have the two revived Jesuses and I actually do have enough. If you guys want to add this into my roster, you can. Um, I currently have, oh lord, um, I want to say six knives, so I only need one more, and I will be getting the Survival Road uh, Ezekiel. So if you have a team with that, please tell me. But I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope your whole line event is going much better than the way mine is going. But as always, please like and subscribe, guys. Bye.